Hello guys, uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. I'm back, I'm back again. Uh, I think he itakuwa ni video yetu ya kwanza kwa mwaka F2 na kuminatisa. Baada ya kumaliza package ya, ya Market Makers Methods. Limekuletea hapa package nyingine ya Market Makers Codes. Uh, Nimeamua kutoa kama sadaka kwa sababu uh, ili kuweza kujifunza na ku na kupata access kwenye hii package itakulazimu uweze kulipia gharama nyingi sana kwenda South Africa uweze kufundishwa na wataalamu ambao wapo kule. Kwa hiyo mimi nilitoa fedha zangu fukoni na nikalipa na nikapata knowledge ya hii kitu. Kwa hiyo niseme tu kwamba uh, kama utahitaji kujifunza zaidi uh, unaweza kuwaona hawa watu wa South Africa lakini na uhakika kwamba kile ninachokufundisha hapa kinaweza kukusaidia sana labda kama utahitaji uh, kuwa, kuwa na direct access na wahusika wenyewe ambao ni wataalamu wa hiki tu ambao na print pesa za kutosha kupitia hii strategy unaweza kuwaona alright guys so today badala ya kuku ya kuku ya kuku, 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 kuambia, un, uh, ulipe uh, dola 1500 ili nikufundishe nitakuwa na kufundisha bure uh, iweze kukusaidia na iweze kuimprove performance yako sokoni kumbuka kuwa uh, una nafasi ya kujiunga kwenye group letu general group la telegram uh, by the name global market fx lakini pia unaweza kupata services zetu zingine za signal account management na vitu vingine vingi vizuri ambavyo vinapatikana alright guys so today I'll be discussing a little bit about this market makers code. So the first thing is to know what is this thing called the market makers codes. Kwa sababu uh, lazima tufahamu hicho ni kitu gani. Market makers codes uh, MMC is a combination of of a certain indicator known as stochastic indicator and the technical setup of market within a period of 10 days. I will explain about this guys. I'll explain more about this. Kwa nini iwe 10 days? Kwa nini tutumie stochastic? Na kwa nini tuangalie technical setup ya soko ndani ya siku kumi tu? Why? Why? So it's very important for me to answer all these questions for you. Now, this combination makes it possible to identify. Why this combination? Because it makes it possible to identify sell zones and buy zones of the of market makers. Moja hapo ya, ya key ya msingi kwenye soko la forex ni kujua your entry to know where you can enter in the market guys. So, if you have a strategy which can show you where to enter, where to buy and where to sell, uh, confidently uh, that strategy must be must be a better strategy so this one uh, will give you that kind of confidence confidence to know where to trigger your position in the market and also a confidence uh, of knowing where to get out of the market guys so this is very important this is very important for you guys to understand and I'm sure after this 10 days uh, these things we're going to cover or after 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 you have uh, after you have gone through this uh, this this video uh, you will not be the same all right guys so now how to set up mmc how to set up market makers codes kwanza kwenye hii strategy tunatumia 15 minutes time frame we make use of 15 minutes time frame na unapokuwa unatumia 15 minutes i'll explain later why we make use of 15 minutes time frame guys i will explain when i go to the chat so why are we using 15 minutes time frame Eh? Huh? I say as I said I'll explain later but uh make sure na putumia 15 minutes time frame make sure the chat is condensed hakikisha una condense ile chat inakuwa condensed to the to the maximum mpaka point ya mwisho kiasi kwamba utakuwa utaona kama vimistari mistari lakini hiyo ni hiyo kumbuka hiyo ni ni ni, ni, ni uh, candlestick chart lakini ume condense so Unatumia hiyo 15 minutes time lakini unatumia vertical line to mark the market uh, in the past ten, uh, the market between uh, the market between the 10 days the, the, between the past 10 days unatumia vertical line ku mark ku mark uh, soko ndani ya siku kumi ndani ya siku kumi zilizopita soko unakuwa linakuwa nafanya manager kwa mfano leo ni weekend 
Leo ni weekend, leo ni Jumamosi soko liko closed. Maana yake nitahesabu siku kumi nyuma from Friday kutoka juma soko lipofungwa. Kwa hiyo nitahesabu siku kumi nyuma. Kwa hiyo juma nitaweka line pale vertical line na siku kumi nyuma nikihesabu nikifika ile siku kumi nyuma ile siku ya kumi nyuma nitaweka line. Kwa hiyo nitakuwa nimeweka demarcation ya, ya soko ndani ya siku kumi Kwa hiyo nitakuwa nalitazama soko ndani ya siku kumi Lakini nyingine use horizontal line to mark the high low and the second high low. Hivi ni vitu ambavyo utaviona. Lakini pia utatumia 833 stochastic tutaziweka tutaziona if possible apply a confirmation trend line on your chart this also will be explained as i go through uh, the chart guys all right let's come back here now here we have our 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 our, our, our pair this is us this is frank and this is our chart we are going to make use of this chart guys all right now Ukifungua chart yako itakuletea itakuletea kitu kama hichi as you can see. Na ukiangalia hapa utaona kuna hivi vibox vibox hizi tunaita grid. Kwa hiyo hizi utaona, utaona ni grid hivi mistari vingi vingi. Sasa kwa sababu hivi mistari vitakuchanganya tunakuwa tuna, tunaenda kwenye 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 setting tuna, te, tunaweka separation, day separation ambayo itakuwa ina ina separate soko kwa kila siku na kuonyesha kila siku soko lilikuwa lina behave vipi. Kwa what we do here, kumbuka hakikisha unatumia 15 minutes time frame. This time around hatuta condense kwanza kwa sababu bado hatujafika huko ku condense. Ah, uh, unaweza usicondense this time ili uweze kuona vizuri. So unaenda una, una right click, una right click, then unaenda kwenye properties. Ukienda kwenye properties una Una, una, unaona hapa kwenye grid uh, imeandikwa show grid una click unaondoa hicho ki hicho 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 ki, ki, ki alama then unaenda kwenye show period separator ndo una click pale do you see guys all right baada ya hapo click okay click okay kwa click okay utaona imekuletea kitu kama hicho you see kwa hiyo imekuletea kitu kama hicho so uki condense una condense sasa una condense sasa ki condense unaweza sasa kuona uh, kuona hiyo separation jinsi ilivoka kila separation unaiona hapa kila separation unaiona hapa uh, tunaweza tuka regard as a single day tuna regard as siku nzima siku nzima ambacho ilikuwa kinafanyika ndani ya soko kwa siku hiyo kwa mfano uh, soko siku ya Ijumaa soko siku ya Ijumaa ilifanya hii behavior yani siku ya Ijumaa kwa sababu soko liko close ni manake hapa ndio Ijumaa soko lipofungia. Kwenye hii point hapa ndio soko lipofungia. Do you understand guys? Kwa hiyo hichi ambacho kimetokea kwenye hii demarcation ndani ya hichi kibox hapa, ndani ya hichi ya hii bar hapa. Hichi ndio kitu kilichotokea kwenye soko la Ijumaa chote ndio hichi hapa. Eh, panda ikashuka, ikapanda paka kujui ikashuka tena. You see this is what happened. Kwa hiyo haya yote matendo yanayotokea hapa kwenye hii chart hapa, kupanda kushuka, kupanda kushuka ni tendo la siku la siku moja. Kwa hiyo kila 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 ba hapa inawakilisha siku. Kwa hiyo unachokifanya sasa, unachokifanya ili kuweka zile demarcation zetu, unakuwa unatenga una, unahesabu siku kumi kutoka hapa Ijumaa. Kwa unaanza kuhesabu moja, mbili, tatu, nne, tano, sita, saba, nane, tisa, kumi Kwa hiyo hapa ndo siku kumi Kwa unachukua line, nachukua vertical line na kuja na yeka hapa. Hapa ndo siku kumi yangu imeishia. Unaweza kutumia line uh, ambayo unapenda una, una kutumia rangi yote unayotaka wewe. Kwa this uh, nikihesabu kutoka hapa 1 2 niko sawa. Kwa na hapa mbele kwenye siku ya Jumaa naweka line yangu. You understand guys? Alright. Kwa nimefanya hivyo. Hapa tunafanya setup tu au tufanye analysis kwanza. Tufanya setup tu. Kwa nimeweka line, nimeweka na hapa. Kwa hiyo hapa kilichoko hapa ndani ni tendo um, matendo ambayo yalifanyika kwenye soko ama kilichofanyika kwenye soko ndani ya siku kumi kwa maana ya wiki mbili. Kwa sababu soko la forex is 24 hours 5 excluding uh, kwa maana baada ya kuondoa weekend. Do you understand guys? Ndio maana tunaangalia siku, uh, siku kumi kwa maana ya siku wiki mbili ya soko likiwa liko liko open. Sasa kwa nini sasa nijibu baadhi ya maswali? Ni kwa nini ni kwa nini tunahesabu uh, siku kumi ama tunafanya analysis ya MMC Market Makers Codes. 
kwa nini tunafanya na, tunashauri kufanya analisi ya market makers course during weekend kwa sababu kwa sababu itakuwa itakuwa tayari imekupa complete 10 days complete action of the market within 10 days within past 10 days na hilo ni jambo la msingi sana kumbuka analysis ya market makers course tunaifanya zaidi during weekend confirmation tunaipata siku ya Jumatatu guys remember this tunafanya weekend confirmation tunapata Jumatatu japokuwa unaweza kuendelea kufanya modification modification kwa kuzingatia bado zile siku kumi ambazo ulianza kuhesabu Ijumaa kurudi nyuma kwa mfano kama soko litaendelea Jumatatu hapa na kuendelea Jumanne we bado utazingatia utazingatia analysis uliyofanya ndani ya siku kumi do you understand guys do you understand kwa hiyo hata direction ya siku ya Jumanne Jumatano utaangalia maamuzi ya ya setup siku kumi za ndani kwenye weekend uliyofanya do you understand guys So what I'm, I'm going to do to uh, what I'm, I'm trying to say here is you have to do your analysis during weekend that's the, the, the key point that's the key point so lingine kwa nini siku kumi why 10 days why why 10 days kwa sababu kwa sababu kama siku kumi zilizopita soko lilikuwa lina lina seli uwe na uhakika siku kumi zinazokuja soko lina uwezekano mkubwa sana wa kubaya asilimia tisina tisa soko litaenda kubaya kama siku kumi soko lilikuwa linabai kwa maana wiki mbili uwe na uhakika in the in the next 10 days the market will be going down kutakuwa na some ups and downs lakini litaenda na nitakuonyesha zile zoni baada ya kukamilisha hii setup okay hiyo tumemaliza tunaenda kwenye kitu kingine tunaenda kwenye kitu kingine ambacho cha msingi sana tunaangalia kuweka hiyo hiyo stochastic tunaenda kwenye solita na kuchukua stochastic stochastic yetu ni hii ni nane tayari wameshatuwekea pale and uh, iko hivyo and this is simple kwao na click okay na click okay so we also have our stochastic pale kwa mimi nitakufundisha pia jinsi gani ya kutumia vitu vyote vitu vyote hivi guys nitakufundisha jinsi ya kutumia vitu vyote vitu vyote hivi don't worry don't worry kabisa wala usiogope i will show you how to make use of all this stuff kwa hiyo guys tayari tuna hiyo separation 10 days tayari tuna stochastic na umeshaelewa jinsi gani ya kuweka hiyo stochastic so this is your setup this is your setup this is how it should be okay now baada ukamilisha hiyo nini hii ni template unaweza kuhifadhi sasa ukaisave kama template yako kwa maana kwamba chati zingine ama currency pair zingine utakuwa una drag unaileta hapo una drag unaileta hapo mfano hapa tunaenda sasa kwenye ku save template ili iweze kukaa pale unaenda kwenye save template na click save template unaandika jina lako hapa lolote tunalotaka mua kuandika uh, 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 my mmc o mmc unaweza ukaandika mimi nime save as market switch baada hapo una save maana yake anytime utakuwa na haja ya kufanya setup tena ya hichi kitu kitakuwa tayari umekiweka kwenye 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 template kwa hiyo ukitaka kukitumia una click tu right click alafu unaenda kwenye template yako kama hapa template yangu ni market switch na click hiyo template yangu imekuja hapa kwa hiyo ninachokifanya na ninachofanya na, 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 cha ziada hapa ni kuweka zile tu uh, zile tu demarcation uh, demarcation za kuonyesha 10 days 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 hapo alafu naanza kufanya analysis zingine so guys mpaka hatua hiyo hapa tumemaliza tume maliza hatu ya kwanza ya kufanya setup ya hichi kitu sasa uh, what next what next from there uh, nataka tutumie pair nyingine ambayo itakuwa itakuwa more clear uh, guys uwe na uhakika kwamba uh, kila setup ambayo unajifunza lazima pia utafanya selection lazima utatafuta pair nzuri ambayo ambayo zinaendana na hiyo setup eh? kwa mfano unatafuta una pair unatafuta pair unakuta pair imekuonyesha ime, ime high na low nzuri kabisa kwa hiyo you have to, to be very careful while when when you are uh, you are using uh, different setups different strategies in in your in your analysis uh, All right guys. Natafuta kadi Swiss franc hapa. Natafuta kadi Swiss franc. Uh, kadi Swiss franc. Nikikosa hiyo nitatumia nyingine lakini kadi Swiss franc ilikuwa imekaa vizuri. Eh uh, niliona kwa jinsi ilivyokuwa imekaa ingeweza kutupa uh, 
ingekuwa ni sehemu nzuri ya kujifunzia ngoja nitafute huku kwingine kama sijaiona hapo let me check it here it's here so this is card Swiss franc card Swiss franc Canadian dollar Swiss franc okay kwa sababu nime drag unaona zile demarcation hazijatoka you can see hazijatoka you see guys eh kwa sababu nime drag kwenye ile previous ambayo ilikuwa imeshachorea maana yake hazitoki alright okay sasa tunaenda kwenye hatua nyingine ya kufanya setup ya hii okay ndani ya siku kumi kinachofuata sasa ni kwa identify the highest point reached by the market the highest point reached by the market ni hii hapa na hii tuna 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 tuna, tuna mark kwa kutumia horizontal line tunakuja hapa tuna mark hiyo ni the highest point reached by the market the second highest point ndani ya siku hizo ndani ya siku hizo kumi ambayo ilikuwa reach na, na market ni hii hapa second highest tunaiweka na yeye tunaifanyia tunaiweka pale tunaenda kwenye lowest point within 10 days lowest point reached by the market within 10 days ni hii hapa hiyo hapo na second lowest second lowest reached by the market ni hii hapa you see guys but uzuri hii second ime, imeguswa mara nyingi zaidi kwa hiyo iko very valid na wale watu ambao walikuwa na wako, watu ambao wako kwenye VIP signal wana, wanapata uh, services zetu za VIP signal uh, nilitoa hii na kuna watu waliingia somewhere here wametengeneza pesa ya kutosha kwa sababu kutoka hapa mpaka hapa tayari walitengeneza pipsi ya msini kwa sababu niliwapa signal maeneo haya kwa sababu kiangalia tayari ime hit the second highest point zaidi ya mara mara, tab, mara mbili you can see na tayari imeshaondoka kwenye hiyo okay labda nielezee mambo ya msingi ili uweze kunielewa vizuri so what do you see here kwenye highest point hapa hicho unachokiona hapa highest point na second highest point zinawakilisha kwa hii separation yake inawakilisha uh, tunaita sell zone hii ndio sell zone na hii uh, the, the, the lowest and the second lowest inawakilisha hii separation yake hii separation inawakilisha buy zone inawakilisha buy zone kwa maana kwamba ni ni, 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 ni ni soko likifika maeneo haya maeneo haya ni rahisi sana kurudi chini ukitaka kujua angalia hata nyuma kwenye hili eneo angalia hata nyuma huku kwenye hii 10 days huku nyuma angalia what happened soko liko nafika hapa linafanya false breakout lakini narudi lina, linashuka ndio maana hapo unaona lilishuka sana eh inafanya hivyo linarudi narudi kutoka kwenye hiyo kutoka kwenye hiyo zone eh so you can see that's how it is kirudi kwa nyuma utakuta kuna scenario nyingine utakuta utakuta kuna scenario nyingine alright guys so what do we, do we have here we have sell zone here we have buy zone kwa hii tunaweza tukai uh, tukai uh, tukai koleza vizuri zaidi tukaiwekea hitch ukaona so this is uh, uh, sell zone and this down here is a buy zone this down here is a, a buy zone number number ni yake vizuri okay thank you guys i uh, can see you guys are there all right uh nataka ni yake vizuri hii yes nataka ni badishe rangi iweze kuwa rangi nyekundu itofautiane na huko chini okay Guys, so this this one here this one here unaweza kuita hii ni sell zone. Eh? So that one there is sell zone. Why sell zone? Because uh, that's the highest point reached by the market within 10 days. Kwa hiyo obvious kwamba soko likifika hapo kuseli linaweza lika lika sell. Na ku, kuna vitu vingi sana. Leo nina, nina leo ninakutambulisha tu kwenye MMMMC na kutambulisha tu kwenye MMC na kuna wengine wataanza kuitumia hii lakini na wakika, mpaka hizi series nitakuwa na series kama tano au sita hii ni series ya kwanza episode ya kwanza hii episode ya kwanza inaweza isikusaidie sana kwa sababu hii ni setup tu episode zinazo kuja ndo nitakuwa ninakuelekeza sasa jinsi gani ya kutumia mbinu mbalimbali ya kutumia hizi code ya kutumia ya, ku, ya kuweza kuidentify ama ku, kuweza kungamua hizi codes za za soko zilivyo for the time being just focus on this just focus uh, kwenye setup na jinsi gani ya kufanya hiyo that is a sell zone uh, this is this one here is a buy zone this one down here is a 
is a bison this one down here is a bison it's a bison it's a bison guys so we have cells on here we have bison there now now ina 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 ina, ina uh, ukitazama okay, hapa ukitazama okay, hapa ni rahisi sana kusema okay mbona naweza kuelewa sasa soko linakwenda wapi linafanya nini na vitu vingine kama hivi ukiangalia hapa kwa sasa hivi kwa sasa hivi tukisema tuchore tuchore confirmation trend line tukisema tuchore confirmation trend line maana confirmation trend line lazima ielekee pale ambako soko limefunga lakini sasa ukisema uchore confirmation trend line hapa inaweza isiwe valid why kwa sababu ukiangalia hapa hakuna touch yote ambayo imepita hapa kwa mfano kwa hiyo hii haiwezi kawa valid haiwezi kawa valid confirmation trend line kwa hiyo guys kwenye hii setup sio vizuri kuchora confirmation trend line kwa sababu inaweza ikakuchanganya kwa hiyo hiyo tuna iondoa hiyo tuna tunaiondoa tunachokitumia hapa na ambacho nashauri kutumia tumia fibonas tumia fibonas retracement kuweza kuweza kutambua mahali soko lilip na levels zingine extra levels za soko kwa mfano uh, utaona hapa soko limeshavunja 23 level ya fibonas limevunja 38.2 uh, level ya fibonas kwa hiyo hapa kuna uwezekano mkubwa likarudi kuja kufanya retest kabla ya kupanda. Kumbuka mpaka sasa hivi tumeshajua kwamba soko mwelekeo wetu ni kutoka kwenye buy zone inaelekea kwenye sell zone na bado haijafika kwenye sell zone. Kwa hiyo hapa limefika kwenye kwenye uh, Fibonacci uh, 50 uh, uh, 38 imebounce kwenye 50 imekuja kwenye 38 kama inafanya retest kwenye 38.2 then itakuja iendelee ikamilishe ifike huku juu. So guys, kuna hivyo vitu tunaweza tukavizingatia. Sasa, sasa. Kitu gani cha muhimu cha kuangalia hapa baada ya kuchora buy zone na sell zone? Kitu cha msingi cha kuzingatia baada ya kuchora buy zone na sell zone ni kuzingatia kwamba soko liwe tayari limepasua buy zone kama hapa limepasua buy zone, limefika kwenye buy zone limehit, likabounce, likabounce, likaja, lika retest lika bounce tena mara pili likija lika retest tena lika bounce sasa hapa ndo kama lime take off ukiona lime take off na limesha vunja neckline ya hii ya hii ya, ya hii pattern hapa it's a kind of w pattern it's a kind of w pattern hapa ukaona unaona w pattern uh, siwezi nikaita siwezi nikaita hii ni triple top triple bottom kwa sababu hizi top mbili ziko juu ya hii hii moja kwa hiyo ni kama w pattern ni kama W pattern. Kwa hiyo hapa uh, imesha break neckline yake na bahati nzuri neckline iko kwenye 38.2 ya Fibonacci. Kwa hiyo what is uh, happening here ni kind of retest kabla hijapanda. Na hii naweza nikaconfirm kwamba inaweza ikawa sahihi kwa nini? Kwa sababu ukiangalia sasa stochastic naomba nisogeze hii hapa. Hii hapa nisogeze ili iweze kuniachia nafasi. Uh, okay. Sorry. Mbona nisogeze niache nafasi. Ukiangalia hii stochastic hapa. Hii stochastic. Stochastic ime, ime, ime tumegawanya ime, 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 ukishe, ukishe iruhusu tu iwepo imegawanyika katika sehemu mbili. Kuna 8 na 20. 8 na 20. Ukiona ukiona uh, stochastic iko above iko above 8 maana iko kwenye overbought region. Ukiona stochastic iko below 20 maana iko kwenye oversold region. Sasa kama ikiwa kwenye overbought region, ikiwa kwenye overbought region, maana yake inaweza kasili muda wote. Ikiwa kwenye oversold region, maana yake inaweza ikabuy muda wowote. Kwa hiyo sasa how to combine stochastic and what we see here? That is the code. That is the what we call a code. Hichi ndio kitu ambacho tunakiita code. Jinsi gani ya kuweza kungamua ya, 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 ya kupambanua, jinsi gani ya kulinganisha kinachotokea kwenye chati hapa? kwa, kwa maana ya kuangalia hizi hizi zone sell zone na buy zone lakini inachotokea kwenye stochastic stochastic kila mtu anaijua na mtu yote anaweza kaitumia lakini jinsi gani ya kuitumia na kwa kukombine pamoja na technical setup that's where, uh, where that's where the mystery comes but it's no longer a mystery because guys here I am and I'm telling you the secret behind this thing 
So ukitaka kufanikiwa, ukitaka uwe unapiga una pipsi za kutosha kwenye soko la forex bila hata kuwa na stress. Uh, bila hata kuwa na stress, wewe unakuwa na confirm tu hivi tu vile. Ukiangalia hapa tayari imesha confirm kwamba this is a buy. Sawa? Na imesha break kwenye neckline. Ukiangalia hapa lazima ujifanye retest. Na ukiangalia hapa hii hi stochastic iko somewhere above 20. Sasa kama iko somewhere above 20, ili hii iweze kuja kubai it's obvious kwamba kuna uwezekano ikashuka ikaja paka kwenye oversold region kwa maana ya hii kushuka kuja kufanya retest hapa utaisubiria ukiona iko imefika kwenye oversold chini ya 20 hapa kwa maana kwamba ime, na hii imeshuka kuja kufanya retest hapa guys na hii imekuja kufanya retest kwa sababu it has to do a kind of retest here ukiona hii hi stochastic iko iko kwenye oversold below 20 na hii imeshamaliza retest hapa guys uniingia tena lot size ya 100 ingia tena lot size ya 100 because that that will be a money setup that will be a money setup because it has to go up because you, you can see a confirmation on stochastic you can see a confirmation on the retest you can see a confirmation kwenye zone kwamba it's, it's a buy kwa sababu imetoka kwenye buy zone you can see kwamba it has to go up so guys if you see all these things ukiona okay, hayo yote yanatokea kwenye ulimwengu huu wa forex na katika setup ya namna hii guys you don't need to hesitate you don't need to hesitate hata kama uh, umeingia asubuhi mchana ikasumbua siyo saa ngapi ikasumbua wewe na uhakika lazima ita, 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 itaenda tu lazima itaenda tu itaenda tu kwa sababu it has to go up guys it has to go up Vitu vingine vya masuala ya false breakout pamoja na false trend na vitu vingine nitakuja kukuelekeza baadaye huko mbeleni ambavyo ni ambiguity kidogo lakini naamini kwamba ukishavijua hivyo utakuwa na jicho la tatu la kuona soko. But in this case ukishaona umeconfirm vitu vyote hivi guys what do you wait for? You just click yourself into the market. Sasa let, let me teach you something else. Let me let me teach you something else. Tayari umeshagundua kwamba this is a uh, a buy, a buy setup Tayari umeshaeka hizi na uh, And you know it's a buy setup Yali for sure it's a buy setup Hapo amna na amna Na hapo kiangalia Usifikiri hizi ni pipsi chache guys Kwa sababu tumekondensi hii chati Tayari hizi nimesha kuwa pipsi nyingi Hizi ni pipsi Paka hapa juu ni pipsi 82 Kama itaanzia hapo Itakuja kuretesti hapo Pipsi 82 siyo ndogo Pipsi 82 siyo ndogo Na mpaka hapa nimesha kwenyesha kwa mba Yimesha tembea pipsi ya msini Paka hapa juu eh? Pipsi ya msini so tumesha kula pipi sa msini hapo Hii setup tulipigia hila hapa Kwa tumesha tafuna pipi sa msini So what next here What next here is to make it more money How do you make more money You just check the codes Angalia hapa setup imekaje Angalia stochastic iko hapi Imeconfirm Retest imeconfirm Huku tayari umejua hii imetoka with buy zone Na hii ni level ya kwanza Kwa sababu lazima tukombali na market makers method This is a market makers codes Ya kukonfirmu vitu vingine zaidi Kwa hii level ya kwanza Mekuja fanya retest Uki mekonfirm Inakupa ina, ina ujasiri mkubwa zaidi Na inakupa kufahamu mwelekewa soko Yani hakuna kitu kizuri kwenye forex Kama kutredi ukiwa na ujasiri Ukiwa huna stress Ukiwa na wakika Ukiwa na amani Ukiwa na furaha ya kutosha Kinyume na hapo utakuwa na trade lakini huju na trade nini Huju kwanza unaenda kupata, kupata nini Yani you are a lot of stress in your mind Na stop loss unaweka hapi Stop loss unaweka below Below this buy zone Kwa mba hii kitoka huku Ije kufunja huku chini Ambazo ni ndoto za mchana Hii kitoka hii katokea Lapa siku kama nyuzi hii zimetokea Nyuzi hii inaweza ikajia hii kafumua huku chini Hii kitokea hivyo Ikitokea hivyo mara chache huwa natokea Kwa sababu hii strategy pia unaweza wakatili news bila kuwa na stress zote Ntakuja kufundisha Ini episode ya kwanza I'll teach you how to trade news using this strategy Kwa hiyo huku chini huku Huku chini huku guys Huku chini huku Somewhere here Unaweza kwa kastop loss yako Nenda kalale usingizi hata wa siku kumina nane Ukirudi utakuta hela tuzimeja kwenye Kwenye account yako I'm telling you this guys Nimejitumia strategy I have seen money And I believe that this is very uh, This one is going to give you money one thing that is very important Pamoja na kwamba strategy itakupa hela Hakikisha unapply a proper risk management Hakikisha unakuwa na plan Hakikisha hauna pupa Kwa sababu tayari unafamu his strategy You be making money Consistently Kwa nini wanza kutumi ku, 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 Mtaji wako wa dola mia Unataka kutumia lo size ya mia How can that be? It's not possible guys It's not possible Ukitaka kufurahia forex Make sure Make sure Unakuwa na adabu, unakuwa na heshima Hizi ni pesa ziko pale, ingekuwa raisi kila mtu anjekuwa nafanya 
hawafanyi sio kwamba sio kwamba hakuna mtu anayetaka kutamani pesa za forex kila mtu anatamani lakini watu hawana discipline watu hawana 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 training skills lakini once you have this i'm sure it's going to help you guys all right guys okay kwa kusema hayo uh, naomba ni 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 ni, ni, ni kuonyesha kitu kingine how can you how can you get a sniper entry a better entry than the one that i've just explained here kwa mfano tayari umeshaona iko hivi mkija kufanya retest hapa na hii stochastic iko chini lakini ukitaka ukiingia ukiklick tu ingia kwenye profit inaenda kwenye 1 minute 1 minute time frame kwenye 1 minute time frame usiangalie kitu kingine chochote wewe angalia stochastic tu usiangalie kingine chochote uh, chat wala usiangalie angalia kwenye 1 minutes stochastic iko wapi kumbuka tuna buy kadi susi frank kwenye 15 minutes tayari tumesha confirm buy kumbuka kwenye 15 minutes time frame tayari stochastic iko kwenye oversold sasa ukitaka kupata entry nzuri zaidi njoo kwenye 1 minutes angalia na stochastic kwenye 1 minutes iko wapi kama kwenye 15 minutes iko kwenye oversold na 1 minute iko kwenye oversold huko chini kabisa ingia 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 tena vizuri kabisa bila wasiwasi utatengeneza pesa nzuri utaanza kuingia kwenye profit why kwa sababu umeingia wewe ambao umeingia hapa umeingia hapa ni tofauti na mtu ambaye ameingia ameingia wewe ambao umeingia kubai hapa chini kwenye 1 minute tofauti na mtu ambaye ameingia kubai hapa juu kwenye 1 minute do you see what i'm saying kwa sababu hii kwenye 1 minute inaweza ikawa juu lakini kwenye 15 minutes iko kwenye oversold kwenye below 20 kule chini iko kwenye kwenye oversold region lakini kwenye 1 minutes iko juu hapa kwa mtu anaingia hapa kubai ata, atasubiria hii chuke ije huko chini afu ndio ipande imuingize kwenye profit lakini wewe ambao utaingia utaingia kwenye uh, ikiwa tayari imeshuka huko chini kwenye 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 1 minutes iko below 20 below 20 kwenye oversold wakati at the same time kwenye 15 minutes iko kwenye oversold utaingia kwenye profit kubwa zaidi kabla ya mtu ambaye ambaye ameingia hapa guys i think this is the best thing that i have just explained this is episode number one kwa watu ambao ni waelewa wa haraka wanaweza wakaanza kufanyia kazi uh, vitu ambavyo nimeeleza ni hivyo hivyo unaweza ukatumia 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 uh, pair ya aina yoyote ukaifanyia analysis kwa mfumo huu uh, na kwa kuzingatia vipengele hivyo ambavyo nimevielezea lakini nitakuja kwenye episode ya pili ya tatu ya nne na ya tano lakini pia ningependa kama una maswali uliza niulize maswali ili kwamba niweze kuandaa video nzuri kulingana na maswali yenu guys thank you very much uh, this is mr market switch i hope you guys have enjoyed this and it's going to add value in your trading career thank you very much see you next time